gospel stands. Look at somebody and tell them when the word gets out that you've been anointed, demons are going to come looking for you. Oh! Hallelujah! David knew he wasn't quite ready to fight. He'd just been anointed king over the whole nation. Hadn't had a chance to consolidate the troops. Hallelujah. He hadn't had no leadership conference. Everybody hadn't come together yet. And the Philistines were looking for him. David said, I'm not ready to fight yet, so I'm going into my stronghold. When it say he went down into the H-O-L-D, that's an abbreviation for stronghold. Usually in times of trouble, David had several strongholds. One of them was the cave in Adullam. And he went into the stronghold where he could get himself together. I believe that in the beginning of this church that the leaders saw that there are times when Satan come after us and we are not ready. So God appointed Bishop Mason and the other pioneers to a stronghold. Stronghold is to shut in, fasting and praying, shut in, waiting to hear from God. And after you spend a little time in your stronghold, you can come out with your muscles flexing and, and you're ready to tell the devil, hey, Satan, you think you want some of me? Come, come on. I, I, I've been in my stronghold. I, my spiritual muscles are flexing and, and I hear God saying, no weapon that's formed against me shall prosper. When David came out of the stronghold, here they were, the Philistines, camped out across the valley of Rephium. David did not flank them on one side, hit them on the right and hit them on the left, but he hit them right in the middle. If you keep reading from where our text was, the Bible said he made a breach on them just like a breach of water as though a flood separated them and here were some Philistines on one side others on the other side but David's army was in the middle and David said look at here God has made a breach upon my enemies like a breach of water and they call the place Rephium meaning Valley of Giants but he changed the name to Balparazim which means Lord of the Breakthrough I want you to know the devil might be fortified against you but I serve a God that'll give you a breakthrough does anybody in here need a breakthrough tell somebody God he doesn't want you to crack up he doesn't want you to break down. He's ready to give you a breakthrough. Oh! Ooh. Have you been anointed? I'm not talking about anointed with oil, but I'm talking about the true anointing that Peter preached about in Acts 10, 38, how God anointed Jesus with the Holy Ghost and with power. You don't need just an appointment in your hand. You need the Holy Ghost. You need the power of God. You can put the devil under your feet if you are anointed with the power of God. Lay hands on the sick if you are anointed with the power of God. Do you have it? Hallelujah. 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 Come on, everybody. Hallelujah. Let's praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord. Everybody praise him. Everybody praise him. Hallelujah! 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 
I want every person in this room, don't anybody leave. I just want you to go to three people. And I want you to say to them, let's go forth in the power of the anointing. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, so cool, Bahasi. Come on and pray. Yeah. I want everybody in this room. I want everybody in this room to do like we used to do. How many of you want to be filled again? Come on, lift up your hand and say, Lord, fill me again. I want you to clap your hands. I want you to open your mouth. And I don't want you to stop until God fills you again. All over this room, clap your hands. Come on and say, yes, Lord. Come on and thank the Lord. Don't you stop until God fills you again. Come on and praise him. 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 Hallelujah. Lift up your voices, clap your hands, open up your mouth, and pray it. Come on, let the Holy Ghost move. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Come on and praise him. Everybody in this room that does not have the Holy Ghost, make your way to the front of the room. Everybody here who wants anointing reawakened in your life, somehow you feel you may have lost your anointing. You need a renewal of anointing. Get out of your place. Get in the aisle. Come down to the front of the room. Everybody that wants God to anoint you again, step out from where you are. Run down here to the front of the room. God, do it again. Lift up your hand and say, God, do it again. Do it again. Do it again. Come on and praise him. Oh, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 